हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इट्स टुमारो न्यूज आई एम हेना तलाटी चाइना ऑन अलर्ट फॉर कोल्ड वेदर डैमेज टू स्प्रिंग वेजिटेबल क्रॉप्स एग्रीकल्चरल एडवाइजर्स हैव बीन सेंट आउट अक्रॉस चाइना टू हेल्प फार्मर्स मिनिमाइज डैमेज फ्रॉम द फ्रीजिंग वेदर टू देयर स्प्रिंग वेजिटेबल क्रॉप्स द चाइनीज अकेडमी फॉर एग्रीकल्चर साइंसिस सेड ऑन फ्राइडे दैट फोर्टी टीम्स ऑफ एक्सपर्ट हैड फैंड आउट अक्रॉस द कंट्री टू एसेस डैमेज एंड ऑफर टेक्निकल एडवाइस The country has continued to experience extreme meteorological disasters and several sudden temperatures drop which has had a great impact on our vegetable production said the academy a research organization affiliated with the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Affairs Authorities are expecting more low temperatures this week with the National Meteorological Center issuing its highest alert for cold temperatures on Sunday for a third straight day daily average or minimum temperatures in parts of central southern and northwestern china are expected to be 5 to 7 degrees celsius lower than seasonal norms from sunday through to wednesday morning according to the center the academy said that in some northern parts of the country production of cucumbers and capsicums was expected to fall by 10 to 20 percent it is said that teams would monitor weather changes minimize losses to the farmers and ensure supplies of vegetables in spring were stable and balanced the teams have already visited areas surrounding beijing and at least 10 provinces including shandong in the east the country's biggest vegetable producer and henan which has the most land under the vegetable cultivation china's central southern and northwestern provinces contributed nearly 40% of the country's total vegetable output in 2022 according to a report published in the november by sublime china information an agricultural information and consulting services provider food security has become a higher priority for beijing in the past 5 years amid the trade war with the united states the shock of the covid-19 pandemic on the supply chain and an increasingly challenging international environment but the production has been tested by the waves of severe cold accompanied by the blizzards and freezing rain that have rippled through the country in the past few months last week authorities issued an orange wave alert the highest level in the three tier system from tuesday to thursday with the temperatures in some regions plummeting by more than 20 degrees celsius In early February severe cold spells also swept across many parts of the country leading to disruptions to the lunar new year travels in several areas That's all for now For more weather news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news For more global weather updates like this subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates